Uyghur Dasta Khan is rich with national dishes. The famous Lagman and Manti no doubt will please any guest. Since I began to study the history and culture of the Uyghur people, of course, I could not miss the national cuisine. Therefore, today I came to the famous Uyghur ethno restaurant. The culinary arts of the Uyghurs are considered the intangible cultural heritage of the people. It has absorbed the influence of the West and the East, antiquity and modernity. This is a mix of colors, a combination of spices, incredible imagination and great taste. There are so many Uyghur dishes that it is probably impossible to list all of them. One of the main, favorite and most popular Uyghur dishes is lagman. These are noodles that are pulled from big chopped dough pieces and served under a special sauce. Depending on the season, lagman is divided into four types. So in spring, the gravy for this dish is prepared from green onions, juicy, celery and radishes. In summer, add cucumbers, garlic, short and long beans, tomatoes, red green peppers and eggplants. In autumn, lagman is made from carrots, radishes and potatoes and in winter, salted and dried vegetables are used. In addition, lagman can differ in the thickness of the noodles and the type of flour from which it is made. Dear viewers, you know I really like to meet the chefs. I present to your attention a master of oriental cuisine. Meet Mei Zhan. Today he and I will cook the national Uyghur dish, lagman, right? Yes, right. Today we will cook one of the most popular types, Guiru Lagman, and also try another version with champignons. Great! Let's start. What do we do first? We always start with meat. It should be beautifully cut into squares. It is important to pay attention to the dimensions and especially the thickness. Why? To cook meat evenly when frying in oil. Now we should marinate our meat. For this we need eggs and starch. What is starch for? Firstly, the starch makes the meat soft and tender. And secondly, if we cut the meat too thin, it helps to make it thicker. Eggs also velvet meat. Beat the egg well and add the starch. So take it and add it on top. After that, stir again thoroughly. Note to all the housewives who are watching us. Pea starch is well suited for meat in this dish. Vegetables for Guiru Lagman are basai cabbage, red and green peppers, eggplant, onions, celery and garlic. 
you can start slicing. Are we going to cut a certain shape too? Of course, there are ways of cutting. Look, we cut into cubes, also evenly. Just repeat after me. First of all, we cut the basai. This is a kind of cabbage. The main rule is that the size of vegetables must match the size of the pieces of meat. Meijan says that only then can the true taste of the Uyghur Lagman be felt. Now it's the turn for the eggplant. It needs to be cut in the same way. I think you feel pity for these vegetables a little. Yes, because you cut them wrong. <laughs> oh, I see. Of course, any chef would not like when food is tortured like that in front of him. But honestly, I tried. And tried my best to prepare Guiru Lagman. For me, cutting into pieces of the same size was not easy. So we have prepared our vegetables. We will leave the smaller pieces for the variants with mushrooms, and the larger pieces will go to the guiru lagman. That is, for the guiru you need to cut everything into squares and mushrooms into strips. Yes, but you can use the same meat in both dishes. Here and there, fine. Now let's prepare these champignons. And how to cut them? They don't need to be cut, can be simply split by hand. Dear viewers, so we got to the most interesting moment for me. Now we will make noodles for Lagman. I've only seen such a process in films before. So we prepared the dough from flour, salt and eggs, let it say. Now you need to lay out like this and start pulling. Watching the process, I remembered the film of the famous Jackie Chan. I remember how I admired the actor's skill. And now I see the same skill not in the cinema, but in reality. Honestly, our May Jean can surprise us like Jackie. Dear viewers, it's time to enjoy the art of the kitchen master. We present to your attention the dishes cooked by us with Mei Zhan, Guiru Lagman and Lagman with champignons. Dear friends, let me introduce Mrs. Makinoa, cook expert in her field. Today, together with her, we will cook another national dish, Monte. First, tell us about the types of this dish and the required ingredients. Manti is considered the main dish among Uyghurs. There are manti with juicy, manti with meat, with pumpkin. There are vegetable manti, there are manti with cabbage. Today, for example, we will start to cook manti with juicy. 
Fresh and green onions go there. Jusai. Jusai is a type of aromatic onion, meat and dough. The dough is yeast, salt and pepper. Fine, so we will first cook the manti with jusai, right? Yes. Then let's get started. What do we have to do? I will help you. First of all, we put the yeast dough to rise. Flour is added there. We dilute the flour with warm water. Then mayonnaise, yeast, a little sugar and salt are added there too. Then we wait until it rises. And before that, we start cutting meat, onions and jusai. Great, we have everything ready. Let's start. What am I cutting? Let's cut the onion. Good. Chop the onion very finely. This is necessary so that all the ingredients fit into the dough piece. In general, you feel awkward next to professional chefs, because while you are just starting to do something, they are already finishing it. Oh, you have to cut it big first, as you did. Yes. And I was tired with these long stems. I was surprised that you can do it so quickly. But it turned out that you need to cut it bigger, add everything, and then quickly cut everything together. Now it is clear. I'm going to break the record now. Jusai has a specific smell. Are we adding meat to these manti or there will be only jusai? No, we will add meat. And it's another matter. Yes, definitely. Now let's start with the meat. We will cut it into small cubes. Well, we are familiar with meat. I think it won't be difficult. We remove this vein. Don't you need it? We are removing it. Now we mix. With your hands or with a spoon? It is up to you. You can use your hands. Let's try it with our hands. We Kazakhs are used to eating meat with our hands. I think it will be more correct to cook it with your hands. Mmm, what a scent! Now let's start the dough. We take the dough and we tear it off. Should we roll out? No. Show me again. I didn't get it. So you wrap it up and tear it off. That is all. Interesting. We wrap it in and something like this. Yes. Now we take the pieces. They infused a little. And so we increase it like this. By hands. Yes, with your hands. Usually you can use a rolling pin, but basically we do everything by hand. Should it be about this size? Yes, along the edges you can do like this. It is important that the edges of the dough are thinner than the middle. They say that only then will you get really tasty manti. Now we are starting to make. Take a spoon. Hold the dough. At the beginning, roll out the dough a little bit with your hands. 
we put it. Mm hmm. And in a circular way, like this. What are we doing now? Now we will cook pumpkin manti, a very good and useful product. Our Uyghurs are very fond of it, also seasonal. It starts in September and ends somewhere in January. Then later it is better not to use. And in February, March, you can't eat it. You can, but it will not be so juicy and useful. So our meat is already ready. In order not to waste time, we cut it in advance. Now take the pumpkin. Yes, we cut it. But how to do it? Show. Like this. I realized that everything should be cut very small, so that later to fit the filling into a piece of dough. Yes? Yes in small cubes. Let me help you. And you watch whether I cut correctly or not. It looks like a carrot. By the way, are there manti with carrots? No. So now we add pumpkin here. We put a little onion, only a little. We also cut the onion into small cubes. And now to him, some meat. Pumpkin, onions, meat. What else? Vegetable oil. Feel. A little sugar. For what? For taste. Salt and black pepper. Salt, sugar and pepper. And then you need to mix everything thoroughly. Is there enough meat? No. If it is not enough, we can add some. Well, I am good at mixing, right? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> And now? This is the usual dough, with water and salt. Not yeast fermented dough? No. Dear ladies, remember, for manti with jusa you need yeast dough, and with pumpkin, lean dough. When everything is ready, fill the pieces of dough with pumpkin filling. Interestingly, we made manti with jusai in a round shape, and we make pumpkin ones like this. Friends, I have a task for you. I have manti in my hands. Try to guess which one I made and which one Makinoa. Mm. 
I think it was not difficult to guess. Munty molding is mainly a female occupation, probably because the work is delicate. Therefore, in order to quickly prepare this delicious dish, I called assistance. Together, our work has come to an end. It remains only to steam the manti. And here is our dish. Juicy and pumpkin manti are ready. It looks very nice. It's incredibly delicious. As I said, Uyghur cuisine is very diverse. This is probably why there are always a lot of guests at the table. We have prepared the most popular Uyghur dishes. What do we know about others? Uzmir Ash or Manpa is another national Uyghur dish. This is a soup made from meat, vegetables, and dough. For the dish Uzmir Ash, we need meat, dough, bell peppers, onions, garlic, and dill. It is important to cut all the ingredients very finely. The chefs say that it is the finely chopped ingredients that give this dish its special flavor. All our ingredients are ready. Now it remains to prepare this interesting dish. Fill the fried meat and vegetables with water. The most interesting thing about Uzmer Ash is how the dough is added to it. It is rolled into long strips. Then they tear off small pieces with their hands and quickly throw them into the boiling cauldron. Accuracy and skill are needed here. Therefore, the dish is called Uzmer Ash, from the word Uzmer, that is, to tear off. And now, our interesting Uyghur soup is ready. Thanks to the chefs, I got to know Uyghur cuisine better. I learned a lot of interesting things and even helped prepare them. So I completely immersed myself in the subtleties and peculiarities of the culinary art of these people. By the way, during the conversation with the chefs, I learned a lot of interesting things about the life of the Uyghur diaspora. It turns out that there is an Uyghur ethno shop in Almaty. Its peculiarity is in the goods that are sold there. All of them are directly related to the Uyghur culture, history and everyday life. Of course, I could not ignore such an interesting place and therefore I hurried there. Friends, I found this colorful shop. There is everything here, and national clothes, and traditional dishes, and even musical instruments.
I'm very glad to be here. Sayara, where did this idea come from to open an Uyghur ethno store? Well, the idea came by itself. I like everything related to my people. These are our national costumes, instruments, music and household utensils. Everything connected with us. The national flavor itself has always interested me. I like it all. I thought that all this can be used in modern life. And so the idea came up and I started to implement it. Well, tell us what you have. Well, the store sells everything related to the life of the Uyghurs. This is the national special stage, the national headdress. We have a lot of them. For example here, this is called Majam Baska. These girls embroider everything by hand. And it turns out that one skull cap is not like another. They are all different, as they are handmade. This is an atlas dopa. Well, you know, the atlas for thousands of years, the fabric itself is the ikat of the Uyghurs. This is the men's. They are divided by region. The Kumul Uyghurs love vegetation on all their clothes, male and female. What is mine? You have a Kashgar. These are Uyghurs from Kashgar. For example, Badam Dopa. This is a male Dopa. Look, here is its own philosophy. This is the embryo. This is a tout. Tout is when a person dies, burial, the beginning of life and the end of life. Between them, life is as it were. Everyone will enjoy the national flavor in this store. I especially liked the musical instruments and handicrafts. There are many beautiful and interesting things in the national style. The day passed quickly. I think all goals have been achieved for today. In just one day, we managed to learn about the peculiarities of the national cuisine and helped in the preparation of several Uyghur dishes. I intend to prepare them at home and teach those close to me. In addition, we visited a unique ethnic store and learned about the history of the goods presented there. I had a busy day. Of course, this is not the end of our journey. There are still a lot of interesting things ahead. Where will the Nomad School take us next? If you are as curious as me, don't miss the next episode of the School of Nomads. See you!